Thank you for being a good God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being a righteous God. Hallelujah. Thank you for being holy, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, because you remain holy, God. We love you, Lord Jesus. Your name is holy, Jesus. You're worthy of all the praise. God has been so good to us. Hallelujah. More than our lips could ever say. Hallelujah. God has been so good to us. We worship you, Jesus. We love you today, Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the power of the Holy Ghost, Jesus. Thank you for your blood, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your presence, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being here with us already, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, that we can say hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you're God alone. Hallelujah. There's no one beside you. There's no one above you. Hallelujah. There's no one like you, Jesus. You have all power in your hands, Jesus. You alone are God and you're worthy, Lord Jesus, of this praise today, Jesus. You're worthy of this praise, Lord Jesus. Not just for yesterday, Jesus, but we thank you for today, Lord Jesus. We thank you in advance, Lord Jesus, for the grace and mercy of this day. Lord Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus for your power being with us today Lord Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus because you didn't have to do it Jesus but you did Jesus thank you for choosing us Lord Jesus to come and to worship you Jesus thank you for choosing us Lord Jesus to show forth your praises Jesus Lord Jesus a rock could cry out hallelujah Jesus the trees could wave their branches Lord Jesus but we come here to offer praise to you Jesus a deserving God hallelujah a worthy God hallelujah Jesus you're worthy of this and more hallelujah you're worthy of this and more Lord Jesus we praise you with our lips Lord Jesus we praise you from the depths of our souls Lord Jesus we love you Lord Jesus only you Lord Jesus we worship you Lord Jesus because you're God and you're God alone, Jesus. There's nobody like you, Jesus. We worship you today, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Your name itself, Lord Jesus, has power. Your name alone has power, Lord Jesus. We worship your holy name today, Jesus. We worship you for being God. Hallelujah. We worship you for being our Savior. We worship you for being our keeper, Jesus. Thank you for being our deliverer, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all the good things you've done for us, God. Over and over and over again, Jesus. Despite ourselves, Lord Jesus. Despite the wickedness in our minds, Lord Jesus. Jesus you continue to wash us Jesus you continue to purge us Lord Jesus with your cleansing blood Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah we couldn't do it on our own Lord Jesus hallelujah our works couldn't do it Jesus hallelujah Jesus our money couldn't do this Jesus I nothing could do this Lord Jesus but you Jesus nothing is like your power God hallelujah nothing is like your presence Jesus hallelujah nothing is like the anointing Lord Jesus we honor you today Jesus we worship you Lord Jesus for being God and God alone hallelujah there's no other God before you Jesus hallelujah you remain holy Jesus you remain worthy Jesus hallelujah every day we'll bless you God every day we'll bless you Jesus every day I'll bless you Jesus hallelujah I can't thank you enough Jesus hallelujah all the things you've done Lord Jesus we can't put it into words God but we thank you Lord Jesus for doing the things that we couldn't do thank you for rescuing us God hallelujah you're worthy today, Jesus, hallelujah. You're worthy every day, Jesus, hallelujah. We praise you, God, hallelujah. We praise you for your glory, Jesus. We praise you for your grace, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy, God. Thank you for your mercy, Jesus, hallelujah. 
thank you for your mercy Jesus we thank you Lord Jesus Lord God for keeping us Jesus thank you for being with us thank you for sticking with us Jesus we thank you because you never left us Jesus even when we walked away Jesus you never left us Jesus hallelujah we thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you for loving us Jesus loving us beyond ourselves Lord Jesus loving us beyond our sin Lord Jesus loving us beyond everything Jesus oh we say thank you today God hallelujah Jesus we say thank you today Jesus hallelujah we say thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus we don't have the words to say but hallelujah to you Jesus hallelujah to you Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus you alone are worthy God you alone are worthy Jesus you alone are worthy Jesus you alone are worthy Jesus hallelujah God hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah you reign Jesus you reign Jesus hallelujah you reign Jesus you reign Jesus hallelujah Jesus and you're worthy Jesus you're so worthy Jesus you're so worthy Jesus hallelujah so we praise you today Jesus we didn't come here to look at each other hallelujah we didn't come here to just sit down God has been too good to us he's been good too good to us Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah Jesus we didn't have to see another Sunday hallelujah we didn't have to see another we didn't have to see another Sunday Lord Jesus but he woke us up hallelujah Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you for your resurrection power Jesus thank you for resurrection power Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus thank you Lord Jesus for this day Lord Jesus hallelujah I could praise you all day Jesus you've been that good to me Jesus I am it you've been that good to us Jesus we could praise you all day Jesus and it still wouldn't be enough hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus hallelujah 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 Jesus bless you today Lord Jesus hallelujah Jesus thank you for your presence Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus for your spirit that's already here Lord God we ask you Lord Jesus again to have your way today Jesus hallelujah Jesus. we ask you again to have your way Jesus hallelujah have your way today Jesus hallelujah have your way today Jesus hallelujah have your way today Jesus have your way today Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Jesus have your way Jesus hallelujah do it for us again Jesus hallelujah manifest yourself today have your way Jesus hallelujah yes Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus hallelujah 
have their way in this service, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Do what's necessary, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Break up the fallow ground, Jesus. Hallelujah. Destroy the yokes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Loose those that are captive, Lord Jesus. Send your spirit, Lord Jesus, to unravel those that are tangled up. But the boss, I say, yeah, 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 she, I, yeah, the boss, I, yeah. Have your way today, Jesus. Move, Lord Jesus, by your power, your spirit, Lord Jesus. Let your anointing, Lord Jesus, take control of this service, Lord Jesus. We're depending on you, Jesus. We release ourselves to you, Lord Jesus, and we're looking to you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Do what only you can do, Jesus. Hallelujah. Do the things that we can't do, Jesus. Hallelujah. Your spirit move freely, Lord Jesus. Bind up anything that's not like you, Jesus. We curse it to the root in the name of Jesus. Anything that's not like you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. This is your house, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We come looking for you, Lord Jesus. So we release this service into your hands, Jesus. Your very capable hands, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. No, Have your way, Jesus. Today, no, 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 have your way today, Jesus. Hallelujah. You be God, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Move all flesh out of the way, Lord Jesus. We commit this program into your hands, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. That you alone be glorified, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let touch our pastor, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. In a special way, Lord Jesus. Use them again, Lord Jesus, for your glory, Lord Jesus. Touch them again, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Do it for your glory, Lord Jesus. And we'll always praise you, Jesus. We'll always worship you over here, Jesus. We'll always say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Because you didn't have to do it, Lord Jesus. We're blessed, Lord Jesus. And we thank you for it, Lord Jesus. We commit these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank God for another Sunday of victory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Another victorious Sunday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another victorious Sunday. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it, Jesus. He didn't have to do it. He didn't have to do it. She done a boss. I am a boss. I am a boss. I am Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the scripture. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We're blessed. Hallelujah. We're so blessed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He meets us here every Sunday. Hallelujah. We're so blessed. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you, God. First Timothy 3 16. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles 
believed on in the world, received up into glory. May the Lord add a blessing to the hearing and the reading of his word. Praise the Lord, everybody. I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is living whatever men may say. I see his hand of mercy. I hear his voice so clear. And just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me. And he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives. He lives. Hallelujah. Salvation to impart. You ask me how? I know he lives. You ask me how? I know he lives. He lives within my heart. I got a Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. all of our members and guests in the building and virtually. We are blessed that you chose to worship with us this afternoon. All of the March birthdays, both spiritually and naturally, and all the wedding anniversaries this month, we celebrate you in Jesus' name. Tomorrow starts a brand new month and a brand new week. Sister Victoria Gray will celebrate her birthday April the 6th. Come on, let's celebrate. Happy birthday, Sister Victoria. This week, April the 2nd, 7 p.m. is our corporate in-person prayer. Wednesday, April the 3rd, 7 p.m. is our Back to Basics virtual Bible study. Didn't you enjoy Bible study this past Wednesday? We need a part two. If you haven't already, drop us a comment and let us know where you're watching from and share this live on your page so your family and friends can be in service too. God bless you and have a great week. See you next week for high praise at high noon. On this last day of Woman History Month, I would like to honor my, the memory of my mom. Eight years ago today, she passed away. But I celebrate the woman that she was. I celebrate her life. I celebrate her love. I celebrate the woman of holiness that she portrayed. God is a good God. And because he lives, I know my mama gonna live again. And don't get it twisted, saints. I might have mixed emotions this morning, but I came to praise him. Hallelujah. I came to thank him for his sacrifice. I came to thank him for the 39 stripes he took on his back. I came to thank him for the crown of thorns on his head. I came to thank him for not coming down off the cross. I came to thank him for the suffering and the shame. I came to thank him for the piercing in his side. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. I came to thank him for Christ carrying that cross up that hill. I came to thank him for having me on his mind. Oh God, I thank you. I'll never know how much it costs to see my sins up on that cross. But I'll praise him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love him today. I bless him this day. He's worthy, saints. He's worthy, saints. Ooh, he paid the ultimate price for us. He paid the ultimate price for us. How much more are we going to do for him today? 
God bless you all in Jesus' name. Let's give God some more praise. Hallelujah. We honor the Lord this morning. It's officially afternoon. We honor the Lord this afternoon. Hallelujah. We say praise the Lord to everyone in the building. Hallelujah. I said praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. You all look beautiful. Welcome to Resurrection Sunday. Jesus is our King. Hallelujah, our Lord and our Savior. Hallelujah, he's a wonderful Savior. Hallelujah, a keeper and the lover of our soul. Our God is good to us. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord another praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We've all gathered together this morning because of the sacrifice. Well, some of us gathered this morning because this is what I do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I praise him every day for the sacrifice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because of that sacrifice, I have the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. That he gifted me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise God for our first lady, Lady Patrice Brock, this morning. Hallelujah. Many would take a day like today as a reason to stay home and to grieve. Hallelujah. But we know our parents taught us that praise is the best weapon that we can have. Hallelujah. Praise is what has carried us through grief, through the ups and downs, the highs and the lows, the good memories, the sad memories. Hallelujah. Praise is what has kept us. Thank you, Jesus. It's been eight long years. Hallelujah. But God has been faithful. He has been faithful and we praise God for the life and legacy of Lady Patricia. Patricia Ann, my namesake, Patricia Ann Sanders. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, to Aiden's grandmother that he, he gets emotional as kids do. Hallelujah, that's his grandmother. Hallelujah, but Jesus, hallelujah, who saved his grandmother, picked her out, hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Now that's a testimony I might not be able to recover from, but that is what Jesus died on the cross for. Picked her out of her whole family. Glory to God. Saved one soul out of an entire family to bring that whole family to Jesus. Glory to God. Glory, that's what a day like today is commemorated for. We don't even know that it was on this day that he rose. Hallelujah. But we thank him that he did it. Glory to God. Yes, Lord, I do. I thank you that you did it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Now, founder, we, we, we didn't really do days like this because, you know, people come in and they all dress nice. This thing going to be off before y'all know it. Don't worry about it. Hallelujah. Because I came to praise the Lord. And I won't let nothing stop me. Even this beautiful headpiece. It'll be right on that seat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because he's a keeper. He's a faithful God. He's a just God. He separated himself from his own self. Hey. No. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I love you for it. I love you for it. I love you for it. As Lady Patrice said, and he wouldn't come down. Hallelujah. He felt the pain. He felt the agony. He felt it, but he wouldn't come down. Hallelujah. So that we could see Lady Pat again. So we could see my father again. But more than that, so I could see Jesus in peace. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So we don't, we, we don't really do these like Easter services because we get caught up in the day and forget about the purpose. Hallelujah. I remember my father often talking about we not doing seasonal messages and, and I would never pick a seasonal song to sing because I don't want you caught up in just the season. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
It's been over 2,000 years. Hallelujah. My faithful God, I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that day when he rose and he said, I'm coming back, that day is closer than we ever believed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I'm up here to sing, but I got one more thing to say. We was in the car and Sister Brooke was talking to Eli. She said, you know what's important about this day? She started talking about Jesus and as he rose and, and the history of the culture at that time, that when someone rose, they would fold up that. Y'all look at this picture and y'all see this folded up uh, piece of cloth here. That's a sign that Jesus is coming back. First of all, Brooke almost had me running around in a parking lot that she was giving that story to Eli. Our children know the word, all right? Bring them in the house, let them get fed so they can be strong on their own. Hallelujah, glory to God, but Jesus is coming back. I said he's coming back, y'all. Thank you, Jesus. That's a good thing. He's coming back. So today I do have a few, uh, I have a few seasonal songs, and I looked at Jesus like this when he gave them to me, but I was obedient. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord wants us to actually think about what he did, not just the hype and the bunnies and the eggs and the dinner and the cute outfits. And mm -mm. He wants us to really ponder in our hearts what he did for us, not just this day, because this goes on for until he raptures us, we're going to think about this. For eternity, this will be in our mind because he made the sacrifice. Without it, we wouldn't be here. So pray for me. Listen to the words. Take it to your heart. Surrender to Jesus. Hallelujah. And sing along if you know him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross was the emblem of suffering and shame. But I love that old cross, yes, Lord, where the dearest and best for world of loss, sinners was slain. So I'll cherish. The old rugged cross Ooh. Till my trophies At last I lay down I will cling Glory to the old Would you be free 
from your burden of sin. There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary's side. There is Oh, there is power, power, there is wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. Oh, there is power, yes, Lord.
all praises be to the King of kings and the Lord our God He is one I just had to do a quick run on my mouth real quick. Friday morning, I had some dental work and I've been trying to make sure I got enough to function. So I, I tried to stay in the back for most of the service. But like on resurrection morning, there was a woman that went to the grave. And all of these sisters in here started with some fire and I had to come out the office. I tried to sit there and keep my composure so I could not talk too much before I have to talk. But oh, I feel Jesus. I don't know about you, but I feel Jesus. I don't know about you, but anybody else in here got the Holy Ghost and you feel Jesus. All oh, praises. Uh -uh. I said all oh, praises. I said all oh, praises. All praise, all praise yeah. to the risen Savior and the Lord our God. Somebody open your mouth and say, He's wonderful. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. He's wonderful. He is. A wonderful Savior, a mighty God, the Prince of Peace, everlasting Father. And He got up. Somebody take a quick praise test, check your row, and find out if you need to do the ignited or if somebody else already started. Just send a hallelujah up and down your road and see what kind of response you get. Hallelujah! I made it over. I made it over. I'm a behavior. told my wife I didn't know if I was going to preach or teach this morning I got to make sure I don't end up with a dry socket those of you that been to the dentist might know what that is but I feel Jesus They told me that I should not get it, do anything to get my heart rate up for the next three or four days after my procedure, but um, I don't know how to do this any other way. <laughs> Somebody take a deep breath real quick. Uh -huh. I don't know how to do this any other way. If I'm breathing, I'm praising. Trying to use some wisdom right here, but if I'm breathing, I'm praising. Woo! And Lord, I just I want to thank you. I want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
I got so much. I got so much. I got so much. Y'all sit down, y'all scaring our visitors. Woo! Come on, glory carriers. Y'all scaring the visitors. Y'all sit down. I got so much. I got so much. So much. Find that neighbor real quick, tell him, just look around and see. Tell him everything you see is one of God's blessings. Come on, they didn't look. Look around, look around, look around. Tell them, look again, look again, look again. Tell them everything you see is one of God's blessings. I wish I had a witness that'll wave your hand and say, I'm blessed. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the field. Blessed going out. Blessed coming in. My family's blessed. My body's blessed. My mind is blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. Yes, I'm blessed. Woo. Now, if y'all ain't gonna sit down, we might as well praise it the right way. God bless you, Sister Tyler. Good to see you. Woo! Bless him, Shepherd Mother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my, 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 my. Praise him. All you people. God bless you, Dr. Triggers. Everybody praise. Everybody praise. Everybody praise, everybody praise, everybody praise. You can't praise her, you can't praise her, you can't praise her, you can't praise her. Yeah, somebody did. No, God's been good to you. Jump up on your feet and clap those hands and give God praise. Hey. Oh, come on, young people, clap those hands and bless you. Oh, let me take it back real quick. Oh, I, I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta get it out. I gotta praise. I, I gotta praise. I gotta praise and I gotta get it out. Everybody say, I gotta pray, I gotta pray, and I gotta get it out. I gotta pray. Bless your Jacob. I, I gotta pray, I gotta pray, and I gotta get it out. I gotta pray. One more time, say, I, I gotta pray, I gotta pray, and I gotta get it out. I gotta pray. Bless your Jacob. We get ready to move, but you ought to jump in on this praise wave. I 
All right, I'm moving. I'm moving. Shama. Truth is, if you got the risen Savior inside of you, you know how to celebrate for real. This ain't just a, a put on. This ain't a special occasion. I heard you, Sister Hunter. This is an everyday praise. I said it's an everyday praise. Because when I think about what the cross did, but then I remember that that's not how the story is. Y'all ain't gonna let me have church. Jesus in the room. I said, clap your hands and bless Jesus. Woo! 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 He lives. He lives. Jesus lives today. 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 Oh, my, 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 my. Help me, God. Y'all sit down for real. Sit down for real. Shh. Come on. Tell your neighbor, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Try to put it on Simba. Try, 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 try. Yeah. God's not dead. He is alive. He's alive. Fill him in my hands. Fill him in my feet. From the looks of it, you can feel it moving all over you. Oh, I like that shout, Sister Victoria. Well, Jesus, hallelujah. Welcome to our online visitors and friends. Thank you. Yes, Shama. Next time you get an opportunity, you ought to find your way to 7165 Old Alexandria Ferry Road. Yeah. You can add some logs to this fire. But I promise you, every Sunday, every Sunday, 
every Sunday. I got some glory carriers that's talking back to me every Sunday. This is the way we praise him. Hallelujah. Too many of us has, have experienced the grief and the pain of loss. Uh, uh, I was thinking, amen, about my wife's mother, and I said to her, amen, I was trying to remember she got saved. Uh, my wife did on Father's Day, and I was kind of getting it mixed up for a minute. And when I said it, she said, yeah, and my mom <laughs> was born on Resurrection Sunday. And I thought that to be a full circle moment, amen, that this is the Sunday, amen, she, we are commemorating, amen, her passing. But have I been talking to some others, amen, throughout this season here, because uh, there are others that have lost loved ones. Uh, the reality is, while we cannot see them, to God, they have not ceased to exist. Did y'all hear me? To God, they have not ceased to exist. We can't wrap our hands and our arms around them. We can't embrace them. Hallelujah. I can just think real quick about a whole lot of them that I would love to be in worship with this afternoon. But can I tell you, for God, they're, they're still existing. while that may not bring a whole lot of comfort to everybody hallelujah it brings me joy to know that hallelujah that if i live right i'm going to see those that lived with him again in fact that's the whole reason for resurrection if he just died my, i'm moving if he if uh, if all he did was die and shed blood Oh, it's the blood that washed me. It's the blood that cleansed me. But he had to get up again. Uh -huh. Pastor Travis Green said he got up so I could get up again. Every time the devil knocks you down, his resurrection power is the power that lifts a righteous and falls seven times. All right. All right. All right. Let me make sure I save enough for the message. Hallelujah. Anybody ever feel after you came into contact with God, you was trying to do everything right, and then something just made you slip. You started doing some stuff you knew you shouldn't have done, but then it was the love and the power of a resurrected Jesus that reached down again y'all didn't hear me I said he reached down again and picked you up oh God cleaned you up again washed you again God sanctified you again somebody wave your hands and say I thank him he did it again he did it again he did it Woo! that's my praise right there hallelujah that, that's my praise. Aiden has an excellent example in his mother of somebody who allowed the Lord to keep them from the time she got saved at seven all the way to now. The age she is, the Lord has kept her. Her testimony is God is a keeper. But he also has the example of if you fall run to Jesus and not from him because he's a restorer I didn't stay saved all those years after I got saved at 10 but I thank God he's not just a savior but he's a restorer so that's my testimony he did it again if y'all don't want to praise him, that's where I praise God all by myself. He did it again. I was seeking deep in sin. Heart of the peace for sure. Very deeply stayed within. Seeking to rise no more. This is after I got saved, y'all. But the master of the sea heard my despair and cry. From the waters he lifted me. 
now saved am I saved I gotta move 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 I feel something pushing me right there yeah. hallelujah glory to God glory to God all right hallelujah GC Tate, will you clap your hands and give God praise for all of our guests and visitors that are with us today. God bless you. So good to see you. Glory carriers, y'all sit down. If you're a visitor for the first time here, will you stand? Let us acknowledge you. Come on, if you're a visitor for the first time. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, my brother. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for you. Amen. I got some young ladies behind Sister April. God bless you, young ladies. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. God is good all the time. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I almost slipped into it, Sister Hunter. <laughs> yeah. Contrary to what Sister Candace said, that God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good. It's offering time in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God. Uh, bro Brother Brock, Brother Larray, will you help me out this morning, please? Could you hold this basket for us? Hallelujah. Right here. Hallelujah. Clap your hands. One of our newest, non, non new, but new members. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time to give. Amen. And what an awesome God we serve that he keeps on looking out for us, making ways for us, opening doors for us. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, we, we didn't get a whole lot of testimonies this past third Sunday, uh, just the way the service flowed and everything. Uh, and I'm not going to tell everybody's testimony, but I know God's been doing some things for his people. Hallelujah. Uh, do I have a witness, Sister Arnice? Hallelujah. God has been doing some things for his people. Hallelujah. Do I got a witness, Sister Victoria? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And he's not just been good to me or to them. He's been good to you. And so this afternoon, we're going to invite you, amen, to participate in, amen, giving. Giving is a key component, amen. Uh, and I don't know what you have to give, so I'm not going to put a dollar amount on it. But I'm going to ask you to first think about how much God's been good to you. And then give out of your substance. In, in Here's a big word, commensurate, which just means in accordance with what you feel towards God today. Hallelujah. If you got $100 you want to give, by all means, give it. If all you have is $1, but that's what you have to give, give it with thanksgiving and cheerfulness. If you got $1,000, don't put it back just because I didn't call a $1,000 line. Whatever your gift is today, make sure you think about the goodness of God and what he's already done for you. And then get ready to give and to give it with cheerfulness. Is that all right? Amen. To all the glory carriers, GCTA members, this is your week of increase. Amen. This is your week of increase, and you are partnered here. Amen. At GCTA Ministries, we ask, amen, you make sure you get an envelope, amen, that you can give your tithe. Amen. That is something that is set apart from your offering. Amen. It is a covenant thing when we tithe. So we ask that you get ready, amen, to give your tithe. If you're in the room and you're giving electronically, you can do so, amen. The giving information is on the screen. If you're in the virtual sanctuary, amen, that information is dollar sign GCTA on Cash App. Uh, PayPal is at GCTA Ministries. If you're giving in the building and you're giving cash, amen, get your gifts, amen. Even if you're giving electronically, let's stand to your feet. If you're ready to give, say, I'm ready to give. Oh, yeah, I sound good. Amen. Even if you're giving electronically this afternoon, you can bring your device, touch the basket. Everybody that can and will, please walk. We're going to bless call a blessing upon the givers amen that the lord will receive your gifts and give back unto you in the name of the lord father i thank you now 
for the power of the Holy Ghost and your spirit that's already in the room. God, whatever you have designed this day for, we say thank you. And God, before we receive the full manifestation, we come to give gifts of thanksgiving. God, some sow out of their abundance and some sow sacrificially. But God, we pray that you will receive all of our gifts. God, we pray, Lord God, that you will bless those that desire to give but have not given to them. They may give at the next appointed time. Bless your people, God. Destroy the devourer for your name's sake. Oh, God, cause men to give unto them good measure. Press down and shake it together. Running over, God. Open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings beyond what we have room enough to receive. I pray increase and harvest for the people of God. Bless every sower in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you now. We give you praise always. It is so in Jesus name. Amen. Just come everybody. Come walking. Come walking. Bring your gifts unto the Lord. Everybody clap, everybody clap. One more time, this is a part everybody participates in. The Bible says clap your hands, all ye people. bless you god bless you may the lord return unto you bless you real good in the name of the lord jesus amen i don't want to keep you all afternoon but there is a word from the lord there is a word from the lord uh, my sister asked me what did i think i was going to be able to preach today she said uh i'll open and your other sister could preach so y'all right there y'all already know who said what <laughs> uh, but this word has been in my in my spirit for amen almost three weeks now and the lord has placed it in us uh, and it's time to deliver it uh, and so amen i believe god gave us what we need to get it out hallelujah uh, in fact amen i did not anticipate the recovery being so challenging uh, otherwise i would have held off until the beginning of the week uh, and uh, my saturday night was different than most uh, in fact i was in the bed and sleep before midnight uh, and those that know me know that that's just an unheard of thing uh, and i woke up about three yeah it was about 3 a.m a man uh, i let lady patrice little dog go eat something and get something to drink and i set up and i was sitting down in the place where i normally sit in our family room and i started to feel completely different than i had uh, the previous two days and it just struck me a man that amen with God all things are possible and 
so amen i stand here not because i'm great anything or because i'm strong or i got superhuman resistance to pain or anything i am great because god is great in me and the enemy is already defeated You ought to get ready for this word to launch you into, hallelujah, the last three quarters of this year. I believe God, hallelujah, has a word for you, amen. It's going to shift your life, hallelujah. The place that you have been, if you grab hold to this, you will see, amen, God has great things in store for you. John chapter number 19, bless his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While you're finding that smile, I tell somebody, I love you with the love of the Lord. Amen. Uh, may, maybe by summer we'll, we'll get a little away from the flu and the RSV and the lingering COVID. We can at least be able to embrace one another. Amen. I believe you need to feel the love of God. Amen. So you got to say it with your words and let it come out of your mouth. Let them feel it. Tell somebody else, I love you with the love of the Lord. Yeah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, I thank you now for your word is already blessed. Because it is your word, God, it cannot return unto you void. It must accomplish. God, you have long since put it within us. Now we stand to declare what heaven has already released. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will strengthen us, that you will use our voice, touch our lips, and let it be the word of God that goes into the heart and the spirit of your people. Plant the seed of your word deep within, Lord God, that it might produce much fruit. I ask you, God, that there be no delay. I ask you, Father, hallelujah, that this word will come alive even on today, that every hearer, God, will receive it with joy and that the God of glory will demonstrate yourself to them. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, we believe you and we count it done now in Jesus' name. And it is so. Amen. John chapter number 19, verse number 30. I want to read, if you'll allow me just to skip over the first clause and read. Amen. Starting in the B clause, it says, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. John 19, verse 30, starting the B clause, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost for the last time thank you online for joining us he said it is finished and he bowed his head and gave up the ghost i want to preach to you from four words this afternoon y'all pray with the preacher i'll get it out like god gave it to me it ends in victory hallelujah uh, before you go off and praise just make sure everybody hears it send it around the room tell somebody it ends in victory uh, i don't think y'all quite said it right find one other person come on uh, get your little preacher voice whatever you got stir it up in you and tell somebody it ends in victory now you can praise him and take your seats hallelujah 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 the life of Jesus, the life of Jesus uh, is a very interesting one. Uh, the life of Jesus starts out actually uh, really good. Follow me. It, it, it's really good because his birth was a miraculous one. His birth was one where uh, he was born of a virgin. They call it the Immaculate Conception because Joseph had not, nothing to do with Jesus being inside of Mary's womb. The Bible says that the Spirit, the Holy Ghost, overshadowed Mary and she was a child of the Holy Ghost. Uh, his birth was miraculous in that, hallelujah, he was born, hallelujah, in a stable. Uh, they wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger. 
Uh, and even though they did not have the internet, they did not have telephones, uh, they did not have airplanes, they did not have uh, automobiles, there were people that traveled from afar just to see the baby Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh-huh. Uh, he, he even grows up as the story continues. His life proceeds and he gets to be around the age of 12. He travels with his parents and his kinfolk to the city of Jerusalem for the time of the feast. And there he is in the temple talking with the intellectuals the, uh, and asking them questions and responding. And all the adults in the room are marveling at how well he knows things. But they didn't understand that he was fully God and fully man. They did not understand that in that 12-year-old frame was the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Who knows all things. Uh, Jesus' life continues. He gets about the age of 30 uh, and he goes and finds himself amen in the presence of his amen cousin. Elizabeth had a baby boy named John. In fact, when hallelujah, when Mary found out she was pregnant, she went to visit her cousin Elizabeth. And the Bible says that when they made salutations to one another that the Holy Ghost jumped inside of John. Uh, God, I don't know if you're saved or not. I don't know what your relationship with God is this afternoon. But if God shows up in the room, something inside of you ought to respond to the God that created you. Will you just do me a favor? Open your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. You can feel his presence right now. Hallelujah. At about 30, Jesus finds himself, amen, looking for John. He finds John there baptizing. John told, amen, his followers that he would be the forerunner of one, that there would be one that would come after him whose shoelace or his whose shoe latch he could not, was not worthy enough to fasten. Jesus there tells John to baptize him. He says, no, you should be baptizing me. Here it is. As Jesus is baptized of John, uh-huh. He says straight away he comes up out of the water. That's why we fully submerge you when we baptize you because the Bible says Jesus came straight way up out of the water. He wasn't sprinkled. Oh God help me. Uh -huh. He wasn't, uh, yeah, yeah. He wasn't spit upon. He was doused. He was put all the way in the river. Pulled up out of the water. Straight way he comes up out of the water. The Bible declares that the heavens open up and a bird, a dove comes out of heaven heaven and a voice comes from heaven said this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased it is the amen in fact the example of the infilling of the Holy Ghost for the Bible says that if you would be baptized Acts 2 38 repent of your sins be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus that you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and what happens you will speak with another tongue as the spirit gives the utterance that's why heaven opened up and talked when Jesus was baptized the dove in the hallelujah was a symbol of the spirit of God coming down I wish I had somebody that already got the spirit somebody already been to the water somebody already been baptized I feel old school church somebody already been converted and somebody so that already feel all right just push the preacher and shout glory in the room Hallelujah. Jesus is now, amen, beginning an earthly ministry of about three and a half years. He's beginning an earthly ministry of about three and a half years, and he starts out by calling some disciples. He calls Peter, James, John, Andrew, Simon, Bartholomew, Titus, I'm sorry, <laughs> Timothy, hallelujah, nah, not Timothy, uh, uh, Thomas, that's the T word, sorry, <laughs> Thomas, all of his disciples, he calls them, hand selects them, including Judas including Judas and all of them watch this have a purpose in God's plan Whew, I'm not going to go back to the Bible class but all of them have a purpose in God's plan uh, we should be careful about how quickly we try to get people out of our life because even that hater that's been bothering you for the last three years might have an assignment to push you into your purpose even Judas was hand selected by Jesus uh, Jesus life looks good right now because as he starts his earthly ministry 
ministry. He's doing miracle after miracle. Uh, he shows up, a man at a wedding in Cana, and his mother tells them, whatever he says, do, just do it. They ran out of wine, and Jesus told them, fill up these buckets, fill up these pitchers with wine and, and with water. He turns the water into wine. <laughs> uh, and as the custom was, they would serve all of the good stuff first. <laughs> Uh, but when Jesus turned the water into wine, they said, this is the best we ever had. Mm. I wish I had somebody that would trust God enough huh, to let him turn your little into much. I promise he'll give you a testimony. This is the best I ever had. Huh? Hallelujah. Have you tried Jesus for yourself? Huh? You tried to work some stuff out. You tried to figure some stuff out. But if you turn it over to Jesus, I promise you your testimony will be this is the best I ever had hallelujah he continues on doing miracles he he performs miracle after miracle raising the dead he amen healing the blind he heals the lame hallelujah he's preaching and teaching it looks good if we were to modernize it he would be the top of the line preacher because everywhere he went thousands flocked they came hungry looking for Jesus they made uh huh he, he, he had the biggest conferences people amen that didn't even have money for food would come to his conference people who didn't have money for their rent would come to his conferences thousands upon thousands would show up just to hear Jesus preach and to teach hallelujah even his followers hallelujah knew that there was something different about Jesus and even his 12 disciples the Bible says they left their families to follow and to serve alongside of him uh, if Jesus was a modern day preacher uh, like some that have filled themselves with pride uh, you couldn't tell him nothing but Jesus understood that all of this was not his purpose for being in the earth all of this had nothing to do, amen, with why he was actually born and given a robe of human flesh. Hallelujah. It looked all good up until it didn't. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said it looked all good until, I mean, miracles after miracles. In fact, the haters, he was able to make himself invisible to them and just walk on past. He was not bothered by anyone. He kept on doing miracles, signs, and wonders. And it looked all good until it didn't. Just about the time of the midweek. Hallelujah. Last week, if it were Holy Week, if it really was, we don't know. Uh, right around midweek is when it shifted for him. <laughs> Hallelujah. And just because things turn, uh, the Lord told me to tell you, don't give up. Uh -huh. uh, Jesus didn't give up in the middle of the week, even though everything shifted. Uh, everybody was flocking after him. Everybody was praising him. Uh -huh. Y'all were here last Sunday. Everybody there waved their palms and laid down their coats, uh, singing Hosanna in the highest but something in the middle of the week calls a shift uh, uh, somebody in here right now uh, you started out good you you came and you got saved you were walking with God but somewhere in the middle of things uh, it shifted uh, and everything that looked good didn't look good anymore uh, all of that praise you felt seemed to be seeping away uh, because something in your life shifted uh, can I tell you if there's going to be a resurrection there's got to be a shift <laughs> God help me. Hallelujah. If there's going to be a great getting up morning, there's got to be a shift. And the Lord told me to tell you just because things turn for the worst, don't give up. Hallelujah. For Jesus, it went from good to bad and then it went from bad to worse. In the heart of the week, hallelujah, there is Judas that is alongside of him hand selected that has gone out to the Pharisees and the religious leaders. Hallelujah to make a deal with them as to how he can get them uh, get their hands on Jesus. I told somebody amen, I don't know if I said it on Wednesday but Judas was the linchpin. He was the critical person in order for Jesus to get into the hands of those that would ultimately crucify him. Do you not know there are people that are trying to get their hands on you but they can't touch you. 
There are people, amen, who have released words about you, but they're falling on deaf ears. God. The Pharisees and the Sadducees were trying to get Jesus and every time they tried to get him, it failed. The Pharisees needed Judas to get God, to get Jesus into their hands. Without Judas, there is no arrest in the Garden of Gethsemane. Without Judas' betrayal, there is no Jesus going before Pilate. Without Judas, Judas, it took an inside job God help me Jesus it took an inside job I'm not here to make you skeptical about everybody that's in your circle but it took an inside job without Judas Jesus doesn't make it to the cross that's why it's important for us, hallelujah, to just keep going. Tell your neighbor, keep going, hallelujah. Even when it looks bad, keep going. Even when folk turn their backs on you, keep going. Come on, tell somebody, talk to them, tell them, don't stop. Keep going, hallelujah. And the Lord told me to tell you, no matter how bad it looks right now, he told me to emphatically declare to you that it's not over. If Jesus would have stopped in the middle of the week he would not have made it to the cross and here it is my brothers and sisters the cross was the worst of it not because of the pain and the agony of it the cross was the worst of it not because he was tired from staying up all night long the cross was the worst of it not because of the people that had betrayed him the cross was the worst of it not because of the blood that came out from the crown of thorns on his head or the nails in his hands and feet or even the spear in his side. The cross was the worst of it because he had to look up to his father and say, Eli, Eli, lama sub my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The cross was the worst of it for Jesus because in that moment he was getting ready to separate, hallelujah, from the father. God help me. I don't know how many of you have ever been saved and backslidden but I have that testimony thank God he restored me but I can tell you it's a cold dark place knowing what it's like to have real relationship with God and then to be on the outside God can I preach to somebody that may need to come back into the fold today you can still come back to Jesus you can still come back to the foot of the cross I hear the old song says take me back to the place where I first believed. I wish I had a Holy Ghost witness in here that would make some noise for the Lord that still loves you even if you've gone away from him and he had to separate himself. Uh, God, hallelujah, from his father. That's why it was the worst of it. And that's why he wrestled so much in the garden of Gethsemane. And it has gone now from good to bad. And now from bad to worse. And the Lord had me to come and to talk to this house this afternoon. <laughs> to let you know that right where you are, I don't know where, how you characterize it. I don't know how you classify it. <laughs> but I've talked with a number of you and I can understand <laughs> that sometimes it's hard hard to hold on faith when you see struggle and trouble uh, sometimes it's hard to praise over top of uh, pain and grief and loss sometimes uh, come on be honest with me sometimes uh, it's hard to press your way to the house of God uh, when everyone and everything uh, around you seems to be pushing in the opposite uh, direction God help me uh, but Jesus is our perfect example uh, uh, he had to go this road all by himself. It was a lonely road up Calvary's hill. It was a lonely road. Hallelujah. Even when the closest of them, Peter, who cut Malchus' ear off in Gethsemane, by the time they got before the judgment hall, Peter was cursing and saying, I don't know him. I don't know who you have in your life or what you've experienced, but is there anybody in the room that wish God would just come and make everything better you've got troubles you got trials you got problems you got situations it might not be all bad 
but you got at least one bad thing and you got one hard trial and if God was not sustaining you you would have already thrown in the towel do I have a Holy Ghost witness in here that said if it wasn't for the Lord I would have already given up if it wasn't for the Lord I would have already backslid I wish I had some real folk in the house of God today that could help me close this message and tell your neighbor that it's not over no matter how bad it looks y'all ain't talking tell them it's not over even though the world may tell you you ain't arrived yet you may not look like you're successful yet you may not even look like you're saved but it's not over as long as God keeps breathing breath in your body it's not over you may be sick but it's not over bills may be piling up and problems stressing you out but tell somebody else it's not over I wish I had a good church in here that I push on your neighbor tell them don't you give up and don't throw in the town tell her for the last time it's not over Jesus shows us a great example that if you can push past the internal conflict of the Lord you must not gonna bring me out I've been in this too long where is my redeemer God where is the help God you said you would never leave me but I feel all by myself God you said you'll go with me through six and seven troubles well I feel like I'm carrying the weight of the world and I came here this afternoon to tell you just stick it out honey cause in the end you're still gonna win I don't care how many battles you feel like you lost the war is not over and just like God told me in December 2013 in the end you're gonna see his glory and you're going to win it's gonna be all right all right all right I came here this afternoon with just enough strength in my body to tell this house that's been facing problems that you can't see your way out of that's been placing a fiction in your body that's been facing financial difficulties that's make you stressed out you've been having problems with your family in your marriage with your children but God is not through blessing you it ain't over till God says it's over tell somebody just stick with it it's not over yet Jesus presses through the battle of Gethsemane he allows the soldiers to arrest him they take him before Pilate Pilate says I find no fault in him they take him from Pilate to the king he says I don't know what I got against him but maybe I can see if you perform one of those miracles he was looking for a spectacle can I tell you you might be going through but as long as you got Jesus you still got power over all the power of the I need somebody though you feel like you're weak shake yourself and let the weak say I am strong let the poor say I am rich how can I say that when I'm looking at lack how can I say that when I feel like passing out cause greater 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 is here 
that's in me then he I wish I had a church today that's in the world it might look bleak and it might look dark but it still ain't no he gets from Harry back to Pilate Pilate says what do y'all want me to do they say crucify him Pilate said maybe if I beat him it'll keep them from killing him he sends him to be beat and they beat him with a cat of nine tails ripped his back some say they flipped him over cause all his back flesh was ripped off and ripped up his stomach skin is hanging out some say it was gruesome till his organs started to show through the skin they cut him to the white meat and he bled for you and I he bled for my sins and yours he bled so I might be free he bled that I might live again and when they finished beating him they took him back to Pilate he said you know it is the custom that we release somebody on the feast day he said you got this killer stone cold killer named Barabbas who do you want me to release and the religious leaders got in the people's mind got in the people's heart let me pause right here you ought not let a preacher with a cross or a good hoop make you turn your back on Jesus you ought not let a famous person with a good name in the earth make you turn your back on Jesus you ought not let somebody with a doctrine of theology a doctrine of ministry a religious degree make you turn your back on Jesus I'm glad I know him for myself you can't make me doubt him I know too much about him he's mine oh mine if you got a witness in here jump up on your feet and say I'm glad I know Jesus for myself lift your voice and shout glory 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 Jesus is there now alongside Barabbas and there the people have cried out because the religious leaders have manipulated them and they say give us Barabbas give us the killer give us the criminal give us the sinner but I'm glad that in the midst of it all Jesus opened not his mouth if they wanted Barabbas Jesus became the immediate substitute for Barabbas he rescued Barabbas to show you and I what kind of love is this that a man will lay down his life shunned for a friend he died for you and he died for me and Barabbas is the first partaker he exchanged his life for Barabbas Barabbas is now free and Jesus is got now to be crucified and it looks bad but it's still not over he gets there and they put a cross on his back his beaten back his bloody back 
his weary back he's carrying the cross that is getting ready to give his life on he goes up called God is here there they laid him down and bang nails spikes through his hands spikes through his feet out came blood from his hands and his feet put a crown of thorns on his head pressed it down till his skull released fluids and blood he's a bloody Jesus I said he's a blood shama I said he's a bloody Jesus about this time he doesn't look like a miracle worker about this time he doesn't look like a water walker about this time he looks like he's dying how can he raise anybody from the dead but there he is up on the cross and even on the cross he's got enough God still in him to say to the one that said remember me when you come into the kingdom he said you're going to die today but today you shall be with me in paradise I came to tell you that your loved ones that's gone on that were in Christ they are already in paradise my path in paradise Bishop Prox in paradise Deacon Chase in paradise Aunt Lola in paradise I said they're in paradise he told the thief you might die today but today you gonna be with me in paradise he looks down at John looks down at Mary says woman behold thy son tells John behold your mother Mary didn't lose a son on the cross she gained one in John I hear the Holy Ghost telling me if you stick it out you ain't gonna lose a thing I feel the glory I said if you stick it out you ain't gonna lose a thing Mary didn't lose a son she got one that could stay with her cause Jesus knew he was getting ready to leave the Bible says that they sent commandment to break their legs cause they had to bring them down before the Sabbath and they got to Jesus after they broke both these legs Jesus had already yielded up the ghost so one of the soldiers takes his spear pierces him in his side the Bible says how came blood and water I want to know have you already been to the water have you already been baptized if that's you in the house thank God for the blood I said thank God for the blood thank God for the precious blood and so our text here is Jesus with his very last words before he yields the ghost he told them previously I thirst they brought him vinegar and they put it up to him he looks at him leans over and says it is finished it is finished can I get somebody in the room that's been struggling all year up until the last day of March open up your mouth and prophetically declare say it is finished say it again it is finished one more time say it is 
finished now let me help you understand what was over was his assignment what was over was actually the bad part Jesus wasn't over I said Jesus wasn't over the miracles weren't over the signs and wonders wasn't over him walking on the earth was not over but what was over was the assignment and all the bad stuff I told you it was good until it wasn't it went from good to bad and then bad to worse and right there Jesus says it is finished and the Lord told me to tell you when he said it's finished he meant the stuff that looked like death was now over from then on out the rest of the story of Jesus is that he got up that was good he walked again that was good he showed up behind closed doors to his disciples tell your neighbor that was good I came to tell you that many great things he did John said if we were write them down it wouldn't be enough script to fill it up with but Jesus has told me to declare that it's not over at the cross I know I know at the cross at the cross where I first saw the light watch the words and the burdens of my heart rolled away it was there by faith I received my sight watch it and now I wish I had a good glory king. And now, shake yourself and say, Nay, I'm happy all the day. Well, if the day is still going, then it can't be over. I feel like Bishop Roxy eulogy up in here, but the end is not yet. I hear God say, You've been struggling, but I'm gonna put an end to that. So you can see the goodness when he got up. They went to look for him. Well, you look for dead folk. But I came to tell you, God's getting ready to make it over. What's over, Sean? The bad in your life, the test and the trial, the hurt and the pain. He's going to finish it up and sign it with victory and it's not over cause you gonna leave to tell the story folk gonna look for you where you hurt at they're gonna look for you where you cry they'll look for you in your affliction and when they arrive they'll find out you're not there you have risen up I came to preach to somebody Tell them get ready to get up from there. God can't use you sitting down. So he's going to pour life into you and make everything brand new. Get up from there. Get up from there. When they look for where you were last week, they say she not there. He's gone. And the Bible says that it was a woman that came to the tomb on the first day of the week, came looking, came with ointments and oils. I like your sister April, but when she came, she didn't find Jesus. She found messengers. Can I mess with y'all real quick? It was a woman preacher that gave the first gospel message that the angels had told him he's not here he's risen see the empty tomb and while she was there going back jesus showed up to her and she said oh god she said my lord and my god you can't touch me but go tell the brethren tell them that i'm alive tell them that i leave 
tell him I got up just like I said and the woman that was the first preacher ignited a fire that started everybody seeing that the Savior has risen and the story that God is writing for your life it doesn't end in death it doesn't end in defeat it doesn't end in trouble it doesn't end in heartache it ends in victory it ends with a testimony I was dead but now I'm alive I was lost but now I'm fine blind but now I see shake yourself wave your hand and say it is in victory Said it ends in victory. Chris, I really want to preach like I did the other Sunday, but I, I don't know if my mouth gonna let me. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all see the open empty tomb up there? Y'all see the open empty tomb? Whoo, hallelujah. The Lord just told me <laughs> that's gonna be a picture of your oh God. <laughs> Of what you've been going through. God help me. Uh, Y'all missing it. Come on, look at it. Look at it. You're in the building. Look. There's an. It's not just open and empty, but there's a light shining. God help me. God's going to illuminate the place where you were. So every hater, every naysayer, every doubter will be able to look and see. I thought you'd never make it. I thought you'd never come out of that. I thought you'd never live again. But look and see. I said look and see. Tell somebody it ends in victory. We'll try it again next week. We'll get that other preach out. I said it ends in victory. Yeah, I'm going to save some for a dance out of here if I have to dance by myself. But it ends in victory. Let me, let me, whoosh. Now, y'all let me shift like I need to real quick and we're going to get out of here. It ends in victory. Yeah, 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 yeah. And for some of you, you only are looking at, you could go back to that other place, Chris. It looks like what I'm talking about is what you are doing right now, what your life looks at right now. But let me give you one last scripture and we dancing out of here. Uh, you go home and eat your, what they cook on Easter, I don't know, ham, lamb, something, I don't know. Yeah. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Woo. Huh. Huh. I'm going to put some Bible on this huh. and let y'all see that it ends in victory, not just right now. And some of you are looking for the victory that's coming in the earth. It's coming. It's coming. Huh. Tell your neighbor, it's coming. Come on, tell them again. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Huh. But 1 Corinthians huh, tells us something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Woo. Huh. Just like Jesus got up. Huh. Uh, then he told her, I, I, you can't touch me yet. Because huh? I have my, this body. Huh? It's something different. Oh, Shama. God, I feel it. Huh? Yeah, Shantama. Huh? Ooh, I looked at my hands and they looked new. Huh? Looked at my feet. Huh? And the, oh, Shama. Huh? I'm trying to hold back this dance. Huh? They did too. What happened? He changed me. Huh? I said, he changed me. Oh, I need you to testify if you've been changed. He changed me. I didn't do it. I didn't just get good by myself. I didn't get saved by myself. Tell somebody, he changed me. He changed me. 
He, he changed me. But watch what 1 Corinthians says. Paul says, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye at the last trump and the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed for this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality so then this corruptible shall have their own incorruption and when this mortal shall have put on immortality here's the link right here then shall be brought to pass the same that is written death is swallowed up in victory oh death where is thy sting? Oh, great, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But here's your praise. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord. Jesus Christ, therefore, my beloved, brother, be ye steadfast. Tell your neighbor, stick with it. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the lord i came on this resurrection sunday to preach to the house and tell you he got up to give you victory thanks be unto god who gives us the victory you order you order you order you order you order pick your feet up and crush that devil and said I've got the victory and throw a hallelujah behind me. I said I got the victory I don't care what it look like tell them it is in victory and if you're in the room you are the crowd whatever faith you got and go to declare it it ain't over i got the victory say the knees defeated and i got the victory my body's healed my mind set free my children say my money free yeah i got the victory it is it is it is in victory yeah. and when it's all over and when it's all over and when it's all over Shantama how you gonna act when it's over shit come I told you I'm holding this dance back work. I said when it's all over when it's finished I just I just got a visual I was reading Shepherd Mother I was reading the text last night and it struck me how the Bible just read to me in that moment like a, a, a dramatic film he didn't have to say it's finished. He could have just gave up the ghost. They did. It, it seemed like an Oscar script. 
that he would in that moment with all of that beating and bruising on his body, with all of that trauma and turmoil physically, that he would still show that he was in control. Can I tell you, even with all the bad stuff in your life, God's still in control. He, And it just struck me, Dr. Driggers, like, like a, a feature film that he would just in that moment pause everything going on and say, it is finished. But it just, I just got a visual. It is finished is not the same as the end. Oh, watch it, Sean. I said, it is finished is not the same as the end. Some of y'all missing it. I come to speak to that devil that's trying to whisper in your ear right now that you're going to have to wait to the rapture to see better. I come to... Whoo, I come to come against that enemy that wants you to make wants to make you believe that the only good you got left is what's coming in the rapture. It is finished. It's not the same as the end. Can I tell y'all when the end is when he steps out and says time shall be no more but you ain't gotta wait till then oh god i feel it there Woo. oh my god i feel it right you tell somebody you ain't gotta wait till then <laughs> you about to see goodness <laughs> you about to see a ch- you about to see oh <laughs> you about to see new life you about oh god <laughs> what they thought was dead is about to live again <laughs> What they thought was over is about to spring up into, you ain't gonna even be able to control it. It's gonna shoot, oh Shabba, it's gonna shoot forth. Tell somebody, I'm getting ready to live again. I'm getting ready. You better praise the first lady. I said, tell somebody else, I'm gonna live again. I'm gonna. I don't know what y'all waiting on. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't over. It ain't over. <laughs> the trouble is over, but it ain't over. Your life ain't ended. <laughs> He's gonna let you breathe <laughs> and see goodness. Shia. So can I make this announcement to everybody's problem? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Lord just stopped me. Remember that, that, that T brother, I couldn't get his name out, Thomas. Some of y'all can't praise like you should in here right now because you, you waiting to see something. You waiting to touch something. Oh my God. You waiting for you to hold something. I wonder if I, I'm going I'm to I'm come back to you. But I wonder if there anybody in here with enough faith to say if God says it's finished, I can praise him right now. I said I can write it's finished. I don't need to see it. I don't need to see it if he said it. If he said it, I don't need to hold it. It's coming my way. It's coming my way. Yeah. Praise him, sis. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. It's coming your way. Hold on. 
Let me come grab the rest of y'all. The Thomas is in the room. Let me, let me talk to the Thomases. I'm sorry, Brother Hunter. Let me talk to the Thomases. Jesus, hear me real good. Jesus loves you so much. Whoa, Shama. Ah, uh, help me hard. Jesus loves you so much that he's going to show up again. He will show up again just to let you touch him. Maybe your faith ain't that you can believe without seeing. Oh, God. I feel the Holy Ghost. But the Lord just told me I, I showed up to let you touch me again. I'm sorry. I feel the Holy Ghost. I showed up to let you touch me again. And watch this. Yeah. Can I tell y'all what happens after that? Thomas didn't believe like the others. He said, I'm not going to believe till I touch him, till I see him. And the Jesus that would not let Mary touch him, yeah. let Tom, oh, I came to tell somebody God loves you so much. He'll break all the rules. He'll break all the rules just to let you touch him. You may feel unworthy. You may feel like you don't fit in. You may feel like you missed out. But he says, I'll break all the rules just to let you touch me. Watch this. And Thomas, from that moment forward, is a believer. Watch this. Because Thomas is among the 120 in the upper room. God. What are you saying, Elder Brock? I'm telling you that whether you believe without seeing or even if you're like Thomas, as long as you believe. Yeah, I said as long as you believe. As long as you believe, shall I tell somebody only believe? As long as you believe, you get the same end result. Tell somebody if you believe, it ends in victory. I said, Whoa. if you believe, it ends in victory. I got about 10% before I'm done. I just want to take this last 10% and I want to touch and agree with somebody that your faith may not be where your neighbors is, but you want some victory. Just come on, let me, let me touch and agree with you. I know your faith ain't with it. 
I know you're not a Thomas after that dance you just did over there. But we're too touch and agree. Asking anything, it shall be done. It sh Woo! It shall be done. It shall. Oh, oh. It shall be done. <laughs> yeah, come on. And it is so. In the name of Jesus. stepped in it now horse you stepped in it now Woo! Oh, time I shy ya. that's all you needed <laughs> you in it now you're, you're in the room you're in the room you're in the room <laughs> make it so oh, make it so <laughs> make, oh, oh, oh. and it is so <laughs> in Jesus name Let's go, let's go. Woo. If you're not saved, come come let me pray with you. If you're not saved, you want to be saved. It starts with a new birth. It whoa! I feel victory in this room. I said, I feel victory in this room. Come here, Lady Patrice. Give her one of those hugs. God still loves you. Never stop loving you. Oh, 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 oh. I said never stop loving you. And he said I love you right now. Whoosh. It looked like it went from bad to worse. But I declare, give me some more. Hey, Shama. Get to go see an anashaya. Woo! It is finished. It is finished. Devil, take your hands off of her. Woo! I'm not shake or more. Father, wrap your arms around her. Sever the tie. End it. Woo! Woo! End it, Jesus. Yeah! Finish it. Finish it. Let her feel you again. Let her feel you again. Let her feel you again. One more touch. Woo. What? One more touch. What? Oh, oh. Another touch. There it. Yeah, there it is. That's it. Touch. Touch me, Lord Jesus. Into my shambalosia.
I got the victory. I got the victory. I got the victory. You better praise your hero. That's why right. that's your, he's my God too. Steal your God. Steal your God. Steal, oh Shama. Steal your car! Steal your car! I love him, I love him, I love him. Woo! Well, you better talk to him. I said, you better talk to him. I said, you better hit Shonda Mosey Tire. Talk to him. Talk to him. Another touch, another touch, another touch, oh, out of your belly, out of your belly, oh, shut up, flow, and it is so. Get ready to live again. I said she get ready. Oh, she get ready to live again. It's a new day. Go shop. It's a new day. Go shop. Live, live. I guess so glory carries point to her. Say live, 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 live. I'm out of that stop and praise stuff. She can praise to the bar if she wants to. Live! 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 I love it, I love it, I love it. Somebody else while the world is troubled. Somebody else while the world is troubled. Ends in victory. Yeah! Oh, 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 oh. You better praise Okira. It ends in victory. Yeah! It is. Oh! It, 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 yeah, yeah. I, you better get all you want. You better get all you want. I don't know if y'all ready for this kind of church. Get all you want. It ends in victory. It's not over. God ain't through with you yet. He's got more. He's got more. He's got so much. Yay! Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. It is in victory. Somebody shout glory. Yes! Yes! We gotta move. Kira, stay there as long as you want, sis. This your day. Whoosh! Get up again. 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 God's word to you. Get up again. 
You can do it. Get up again. No more there. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Somebody shout, get up again. We gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry. If you ain't ready, we ain't gonna let yours. Woo! Yes, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God. Woo! Stand before us when we call on his great name. Precious Everybody say we The victory We have We have the Say we Everybody say we have. We have the victory. We have. We have the victory. Come on, one big voice say we. we have the victory. I gotta let y'all go. We have. We have the say it till you feel it. Everybody, open your mouth to say. We have the victory. We have. We have the victory. One more time. We have the victory. Oh, tell me who can stand me. Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you for the move of God in this place. All that you have done. I thank you for victory. I thank you for finishing Woo. what you started. I thank you for finishing what you started. Bless us as we depart from this place. Let us not leave your presence. Go with us, stand by us. Watch over and protect us. Bring us back at the appointed time. If it be your will, you should rapture your children home. Make us ready to be caught up to meet you. God, if you delay, let us forever shout that we are new in you. And it ends in victory. We bless you now. Keep us and we shall be kept. Bless us and we shall be blessed. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a victorious week in Jesus' name.